All right, welcome to the stream. Today we are playing the new vampire character, and we're going to be going over the new vampire update. What that entails. So there's a footage. Anyways, uh, this is the new vampire character. This is what the guy looks like. I uh, can't really show the face, but I'm sure you can see it in the screen, the shop, and everything. Anyways, uh, this guy has a special bat power ability, meaning that he can transform into a swarm of uh, bats using his uh, superpower. And that gives him the ability to slowly uh, hover or levitate. Uh, he can go up and down, left and right, in any direction in that state. And uh, it gives you like a good. Uh, Good vantage point uh, to shoot at your enemies, uh, move around, and also when, when you're in that state, uh, you can um, go into a flock of bats. Now it's fairly visible and it makes a sound, but um, it's still a good way to say get away from your enemies, change position. Um, you're also a lot uh, faster when you're as a flock of bats. So um, you, you activate it by pressing shift, so as if you are running, so it's fairly intuitive. So hover will just be moving your arrow keys, about a, uh, a dash or a run with uh, shift, or whatever the boundaries are for that, would make you fly. Anyways, um, it's, it's great for changing uh, position, flanking your enemy, Avoiding damage. I'm pretty sure you take half as much damage in that state anyway, or maybe not at all. Uh, either way, you will be very difficult to hit. Uh, another another great thing about uh, being in vampire mode, I think that's whether you are a bat or hovering. It probably applies more to hovering, because that's when you can actually do damage. Uh, is that you have uh, a vampiric... Uh, Empiric effect. So when you damage an enemy, say for 10, 10 points, you get half of that as, uh, as your own health. So you shoot him once, damage him for 10, get healed 5. It's very useful. So if you're, you and your enemy are just having a shootout one on one, uh, and you're in your vampire state, uh, especially if you have the cigar, you are very likely to outlast them. Uh, plus, you are more movable, you can fly around, and uh, you are harder to hit. So, all very uh, good advantages for the uh, vampire. I think it's a pretty, pretty decent counter to most uh, most characters. And uh, today we're going to be uh, testing it out to see how effective it is. We try to kill every single enemy that we can using this vampire ability. So we got a pretty, pretty decent start with our uh, weapons. I think machine guns uh, work very well. Also explosives. You can literally cover over your enemies and you know pelt them with grenades and um, whatever things uh, you have at your disposal and uh, you know fly away to safety very nice surprise attack uh, also I believe the vampire powers they gain a boost uh, with uh, the sun clips oh I see no those are zombies I'm pretty sure it's the sun clips that does that because uh, you know it gets dark vampire powers are more effective so that would only make sense uh, it's, it's not a crazy boost, I, I think uh, it increases your vampiric damage, so and before you took, um, took off like 50% of the damage you did to an enemy, it would increase to uh, 70 or 60, I don't remember the exact numbers, but it is, it is a bit of an increase. it out, hopefully you get some nice skills, and see how effective this vampire character is. Let's see what we got over here. 
most I can do is buy some ammo. Sure. Oh, but I can't even pick it all up. Okay, yeah, no, no point spending too much money here. As I am very much limited on space. That's okay. seem like I took any damage. Uh, I'm pretty sure if you go too high you will take full damage from that. So I would be wary. Anyways, that was a good little intro. And now I'm hoping we can actually catch the guy that's in the bridge. He's got to be somewhere here. And the fridge landed in this forest. Although assuming that anyone actually wanted to pick it up. It's crazy if they didn't. Hmm. You know, I'm actually wondering if we can even find it. It will be tricky. There is a bridge just lying in the woods. you see all the nearby vending machines. Uh, I'm not sure there, if there's a one for fridges and if it, if it would even include the orbital fridge. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. We could keep running around the forest, but even if we find it, I'm sure it's already been looted. Whoever summoned it, they 
silly not to go after it. So that's okay. I would rather find more opportunities to use my vampire power. Those are zombies. Yeah, 13 people in this giant map. How are we ever even going to find anyone? Okay, let's get up on that tower. Let's see if we can find any enemies. See, oh, there's a guy. He's real far. Um, Alright, but we got a car. We can, we can do something about him. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to drive up explosions in front of him. We can do explosions. We'll see. Let's check this thing out here. Inside. Yeah. yeah, nothing, nothing good. These vending machines never have any good weapons. Really. Oh, jetpack, perfect. I guess this map is still pretty big for seven people. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, oh, there he is. Okay. So, we're gonna... We're gonna... We got a bad power. Somewhere underneath, I think. See him run off in any direction. feeling that there's still somebody nearby. It's not a great feeling when the zombies are coming. Okay, but I see see another potential friend over there. He's a little too far for a vampire power. So I'll see if he comes nearby. I heard a little aiming noise, so the guy is definitely nearby. Not in the not in the building though. Oh god, that is he's definitely in the building. Let's um let's do that. Let's see if our Spooky ghost will spot him. 
Maybe we didn't speak to the others. What is this car? Oh man, is he? Is he going after me? I'm just gonna wait for him. No, no need to do any any shenanigans here. No, look, look who's speaking all this stuff. Look at him twice. But he's spooked now. Oh, look who's a vampire too, huh? to vampire me but then he just took a took an F to the face. Mm, that's I do like Nick him. nearby. Anyways, as you can see the vampire power is very, very useful, even against other vampires. Well, to be fair, it didn't do much in there, but, uh, you know, I'd like to think it had a good, good impact. Okay. I still like to um, conserve my powers. Yes. Yeah. Okay, that was felt very close. I think I heard. There's definitely someone in this mansion. Their sonar is going off. There we go. Oh wow. 
that was a win. What do you know? And that was the entire review.